Hello everybody and welcome to Getting APIs to Work. Today we'll talk about API marketplaces and how to get them to work. We're here at the Six Group in Zurich and with me is Sven Siert. You are the product lead for the Open Banking platform and you have made, I think, some really interesting experiences. You have mm -hmm. some good um, insights into how to build a platform. So thanks a lot for joining. Sure. And let's get started by just talking about what an API marketplace is, because I think sometimes people may get a little bit confused by different interpretations of the term. So when you talk about marketplaces, are there different models that you see or different ways how people think about marketplaces? Yeah, absolutely there is. Um, I think there's very broad marketplaces, global marketplaces. Um, I think one example would be the rapid market API marketplace. Um, and then we see uh, more uh, specialized marketplaces, maybe to um, a certain industry. Um, uh, B-Link, our open banking platform, is going into that direction for the finance um, industry. And then you find, maybe not under the name marketplace, but maybe more under the name uh, developer portal, also um, place marketplaces that are more focused on internal, uh, company internal APIs that are not necessarily exposed uh, externally. So it's a broad range and mm -hmm. different different types of marketplace that we see. And sometimes I think you also see there's the same kind of like one company only marketplaces mm -hmm. ex Absolutely. exposed externally, right? But then I think also, I would say most often people call these portals and not marketplaces. But I think, portals, yeah. marketplace, we've seen uh, different definitions and we actually also internally, we, uh, we are working with the uh, portal. We started with the name portal, but then because ah. it's external, we we're now developing and, and actually using the name marketplace. Mm -hmm. What I think is really interesting is that you are aiming for this middle ground, so to speak, mm -hmm. right? You're not building like a generic global marketplace mm -hmm. and you're not building like a one provider only marketplace. Yeah. So you're targeting a specific group of customers yes. and con providers. So w what exactly led to like this project that, you know, the idea was let's create such a marketplace and, and this is why we think it can yeah. be successful? Ultimately, we didn't start with the marketplace idea. Ultimately, um, uh, what we started with is the, um, is the belief that in banking and finance, um, there's lots of uh, services, lots of data, uh, which... Uh, when made available via APIs can deliver a lot of value uh, if you are able as a customer to connect, let's say, an accounting solution to your bank data via API that allows you to, be, to run your business more efficiently. Um, so the ultimate driver was to bring open APIs to the finance industry, to drive innovation, to give the customer the capability of uh, using their data in different contexts than the bank-only context. Um, and we've seen uh, markets that made these API developments, open banking through regulation. In Switzerland, we have a market-driven approach. Um, so we're on the way with Beeling to make these APIs more and more available. And on the fact that we have more and more APIs available, we started with payments, we're now in wealth management. We have a couple of other APIs that we're working with. Um, and we see more and more APIs becoming available, and that's ultimately uh, kind of the ground where you then can think about hmm, maybe we should have a marketplace to make it easier to discover these type of APIs. And when we discussed before mm -hmm. we started this interview, you, you, you talked about why you even think that the marketplaces are a pattern that we will see more and more. And I yeah. liked your, like your theory or your, your idea why that is very much. So can yeah. you tell, um, tell us about it? So the, the key aspect that you need is you, you need widely available a large set of APIs that... Uh, um, um, that, as I mentioned, are now becoming available in the finance industry. In other industries, we've seen that. If you look at Google, uh, the development is going on, going on a bit, uh, bit faster. Um, and with more providers of APIs, more consumers of APIs, then a marketplace can actually add value doing two things. One is you, can you need to reduce the search cost. You need, you need to make it easy to explore and find the APIs, understand what value they deliver. Um, and the second is you need to reduce as a marketplace for it to work the transaction cost. So if I find an API as a consumer that I like, I want to use, then you, as a marketplace you need to facilitate that, basically that business that happens between the provider and the consumer and as good as you can and make it as easy as possible. And that's actually um, 
that's the reason why marketplace exists and that's what marketplace have to develop and deliver. Mm -hmm. So ultimately you reduce friction and hopefully then... Absolutely, you, that's, yeah, that's yeah. So the key. That's Otherwise you don't have a reason to be. <laughs> I guess that's true. So, so from your experience, like you now being on that journey with, with B-Link, what, what are the things that you would characterize as being essential yeah. when you consider building such a marketplace, mm -hmm. what should you definitely think about so that you can kind of make a business case for it? Yeah, um, I think it's key as a marketplace and that's, uh, I truly believe we will see a specialized marketplace for industries because you need to understand the pain points. You need to understand um, what does it take for consumers or providers to even offer an API. So if you take the finance industry, in Switzerland, we have a FINMA regulated entity, so you need to understand how does the market and the industry work where you want to uh, position your marketplace um, and um, truly understand that to de decrease the transaction cost uh, and as well understand what are the different use cases in that industry. Where are maybe new um, pain points coming up, maybe to new to do, uh, due to new regulations, you might have a, a need for a new service and then really go out and find providers of that service, bring it onto the marketplace and then tell consumers about it that, hey, this is a service, it's curated, you can use it, we've done a due diligence um, and, and that's how you start getting this liquidity of a marketplace, so you, uh, consumers and providers going because that's the lifeblood of a marketplace is the liquidity. Mm -hmm. And from your experience going through this process now in, mm -hmm. in Switzerland with feeling, what are the challenges that you see? What are the things where you say, yeah. oh, this maybe this was a little harder than we hoped it would yeah. be? Like Absolutely. Um, I think it's key to understand we're really at the beginning of, of this journey in, in the finance space in Switzerland. Uh, what we've seen is that um, on the provider side as well as on the user side, um, we there's lots of... Um, of challenges that need to be overcome to actually be able to offer in a marketplace. That can be technical. So in general, you see most companies don't have API modularized services ready to be offered via marketplace, but rather they have a large, large offering and you now want to maybe take a single service out of it and bring it to the marketplace, but you need to be technically able to do it. And then you have a question of how do I price this? Now I make money with this big uh -huh. piece of service and now I had to take a little piece. You have questions of cannibalization of the current revenue streams. So there's lots of work to be done that are more on the technical and strategic side before you can bring that service to the marketplace. That's the provider side. Uh -huh. And then on the consumer side, going if you find you have a problem you first need to learn ah there is a marketplace where i can actually go and it it makes sense to search if they maybe have a solution so they need to learn there's a marketplace i can go there i should search and then i can also use that service so both sides we actually uh, we see uh, we're in the beginning of these uh, phases and we're doing a lot of um, a lot of uh, consulting and, and talking to these these two sides to bring them together on the on the marketplace so we're, we're really in the beginning but it's so exciting where would you say you're investing more effort right mm -hmm. now? Um, helping, so to speak, the, the provider side or helping the consumer side? Or yeah. like, do you try to keep it balanced? Um, the classic it's kind theory, of a chicken and egg problem. Yeah, it's a, cl <laughs> it's a classic a chicken egg problem. And uh, um, what you usually try to do, if you can, is you try to build up a uh, supply side first. So um, we have, we've talked to a number of, uh, of providers. We, we produce kind of one-pagers. Um, and um, so the, you start tackling the provider side. Um, we now have, um, have a small number of providers who, are, um, who, are, uh, who we have at a stage where they, they could come onto the marketplace and we're actually now looking for the first match. So we try actually in the, in the first matching phase so we can, uh, we can have the, uh, those services um, uh, on the marketplace. What we have already on the marketplace are standardized APIs. It's important that we have two different APIs. It's, we have a standard APIs, an API where you can connect to many banks. Those we already have live. Um, and then what we're trying to bring on is marketplace uh, place participants where it's specialized services. They come with their API and then we put it onto our marketplace. So we actually have two categories 
-hmm. One category we have live, we have a, uh, a number of banks which are now coming live and you can use them on API. And then we're working on now having more, more and more of these uh, APIs from third party providers. That's interesting, so, so you, you have two product categories. So Excellent, to speak. you could see it, say that, yeah. yes. And do you, see, like, do, do you see one of these categories maybe growing faster yes. or you know, having more promises for consumers? Or <coughs> Definitely, um, and it's quite simple. The standardized APIs where we have uh, one API or actually two APIs in the payment space and three APIs in the wealth management space, they're growing faster um, simply because we started earlier uh, with them. And uh, what we've seen, uh, what we now see in Switzerland also, we have gotten a couple of banks, we've gotten a couple of fintechs that are consuming, and we are starting that we've been able to solve the chicken egg problem and we get traction and you can now see this is growing faster um, with, um, with the other type of product or the other type of APIs we, we basically started um, a couple of months ago. And, mm -hmm. and okay. there is actually the challenge that I mentioned and, and we're going through that. So it's, it's, definitely, um, uh, it's definitely a sequence of, uh, mm -hmm. of what we're seeing. Wrapping it up a little bit, so from your point of view, if somebody was like looking at a domain and let's say they would observe what you observe mm -hmm. when you said there have to be enough APIs to begin with so that there can be kind of a need of a marketplace, have you seen that happening in other cases already in other domains? Is that something where you see some developments happening? It's something where I personally think we will see many more yeah. things like what you're doing in, in many domains, but I think it's still very early days, so I'm just curious whether you've seen something. Yeah, I mean, we've seen in Switzerland, um, there, there's a handful of providers who, um, who are already in the finance space, who've tried to, uh, to launch marketplaces uh, similar to B-Link, um, and, and I think from what I see from the outside, they, they've um, they, they've seen the same challenges that providers and consumers are just about to get, get ready to actually offer on the marketplace. Um, uh, if you look at other industries, so a little bit further away from the financial uh, uh, places, I mean, we mentioned Rapid already, which is a, a more broader marketplace. Mm. And, yeah. and actually, we talked, you, you mentioned a good example of, of a marketplace in, in the aerospace or airline industry, um, where it's, it's an industry where APIs are quite prevalent, but I think until now it was quite hard to find them, to actually find out how yeah. to use them. And that's when we come back to what we said there, you can bring a marketplace to one industry. And what's interesting there, I believe it's IATA. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah they, they built the marketplace. And it comes back to what I said before. They know very well the pain points of, of that industry. So, um, so it's an industry player that comes in, has mm -hmm. the knowledge, and then understands, okay, now it's time. We have many providers, we have different APIs, and providing a marketplace can actually bring value to both sides. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, think, I, I really think that we will see many more things like that. But like you said, I think the important part really is to understand that it, it's so much more than just putting some, you know, portal, so to speak, yes. in place, right? You need, you, the it's market the needs step. to be, yeah, it's the first, you need that. <laughs> and many <laughs> companies don't even have that yet. Yeah. So it's, yeah. uh, well, it's really, that's true. it's a very exciting beginning of a journey, but uh, I believe uh, if we meet in one year and if we meet in two years, there's going to be still lots of development to talk about. Okay, that's, that's actually yeah. a, a good idea. I'll be back. <laughs> so, Great. So thanks a lot welcome. for your time this year. Mm -hmm. And um, thanks everybody for watching. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. And with that, we're done for today. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Thank Bye, you, everybody. Bye.